Andrew McGahan for themaclife.com here in Las Vegas, Nevada, sitting alongside Artem Lobov. But it's not just any special day for Mr. Lobov. It's your 21st birthday, Artem. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's, it's your fifth or sixth 20, 21st birthday, I believe, at this stage. But we'll, um, we'll let you have it. First of all, who's the best person that's wished you a happy birthday so far today? Uh, this, it's, a, it's a hard one to say, everyone. Too many. Too many, Too exactly. Many, probably. It's a hard one to call. Uh, a little bit of research into this date in history. Ronald Reagan once put jokingly out on a radio transmission that he was saying this would be Russia's last. If he wanted to turn it on Russia, he could turn it on Russia. And if he wanted to remove their freedom, he could remove their freedom. But here we are in the land of the free. And who's laughing now, Arthur? Exactly. You know, that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to say on that. <laughs> also, you share a birthday with Hulk Hogan. Oh, very so good. I we, did not know that. If we meet Hulkster in the next couple of weeks, you can, you can just let him know about that. Yeah, Aside cool. from the, the poor celebrity birthdays that you have that share on this day, uh, the last time we spoke, the camp was finishing up in Dublin just before the World Tour. Since then, a lot of things have happened. But I suppose the main thing a lot of people are uh, interested in is the training. Did you notice an increase? Did you notice a spike? Or has it been at this steady? Was Dublin early on the benchmark? And that has just continued straight through? No, no, absolutely. I mean, in, in Dublin it was intense, but then the, the whole World Tour was sort of a little bit of a break. We were still training, of course, on the World Tour, but, you know, with different city every day, you know, it wasn't as easy getting the training sessions in. And it was a much needed little break. And then as soon as we kind of got here, then things went up a level. You know, obviously this was the final stretch. Um, and we were here in Vegas in the capital of the fighting. So, um, yeah. Uh, things certainly got a lot more intense once we got here. When it came down to the World Tour itself, you've been on World Tours before, you were on the Aldo World Tour. Um, if you were to compare the two of them, was there a noticeable difference? I know that the crowds were rather animated in certain places, but New York was a little bit flat due to the audio. Did the overall expectation live up to what you thought it was going to be going away? I mean, this one was, of course, on a lot bigger scale than, than the first one. Uh, I mean, the first one was great, you know, but at that time it was just myself and Connor, you know, uh, traveling, uh, getting the training in. Now we had the whole team, which was, you know, a lot easier now because we had all the coaches with us, the physios, everything, whatever is needed was at our disposal, whereas the first time it was just me and Connor. Um, and of course, you know, Connor's level have gone up, you know, many, 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 you know, times. So, uh, of course, Everything was huge this time. Like I haven't seen some of the press conference that we were at, even all of them. I haven't seen fight shows as big as that. You know, there was like 20,000 people, 15,000 people at some of them. So it was great to see. Um, but at this time, one thing that was different, I was a lot more prepared for it because obviously I had a chance to see how big of a star corner has become. So I was expecting all that, whereas the first time, not so much. For your, from your own personal point of view, though, because you were the guy that was, you, you said that was just the two years before, and now the media obligations have doubled or maybe even tripled in comparison from that media tour to this. Mm. But it was always a constant belief, you know, that this greatness or this, these bigger things was going to happen or were going to happen. There was always the belief that the level was going to raise with each and every fight. But to witness it actually happening, you know, it's, it's not until you decompress and take yourself out of the situation of a new city every day that you realize how much of a magnitude the whole thing really was. Yeah, well, to be honest, I never really kind of, you know, think about the media and where it's going to be and where it's going to go, how big it's going to get. So every time you kind of see it, then it's like, wow, you know, you know, you kind of have to stop for a second and uh, have a look around and just, you know, take it all in and, and just come to realization what Connor has achieved in such a short space of time. You know, I always kind of knew that his skill is good enough to be the best guy in the world. But I never really thought about the media stuff and all the, you know, the, the stuff that comes with it. So it always is great for me to see and actually, you know, witness it happening firsthand. Uh, you mentioned the training ramped up even more when it got to Vegas. Um, the fact that when we spoke to Connor, how everything was done to a science, everything was done to a T. Can you add more sessions? Is it a case of adding extra rounds? Is it a case of maybe getting the best guys in first for the spars or in last when he's at his tiredest? Is it just more of an effort, a group effort from everybody? Because when you're doing the strength and conditioning sessions in the altitude chamber, it seems like a real support network where everybody that is in that room is cheering you on. Whether you're doing it, whether Jerry's mm. doing it, whether Connor is doing it, it seems like there is a huge support around the actual hard work. I mean, for me, it's always hard to imagine, you know, uh, 
adding anything else to it you know it already feels like we're doing everything you know no stone is left unturned i can guarantee you that nobody else is doing what we're doing so if we were to add something down the line again we would just be beating ourselves again because i can guarantee you everybody else has been left behind long 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 time ago when it comes to your own training you said you were looking forward to this camp because you would be able to um, you're coming out a stronger fighter even afterwards because you're embedded in such a high profile training camp with such, a, with such a massive purpose and massive stakes on the line. It can only make you a better, a better fighter. Do you feel that your turnaround is going to be a lot quicker now back into active competition once August 26th has come and gone? Yeah, absolutely, because, I mean, whatever camp I, I, I start now, I'm going to be going into a camp already fit. You know, I, I, I have basically done this camp with Conor. You know, I tried to um, do everything he was doing, you know, in, in terms of training and uh, sparring and everything. Um, yeah, for my own turnaround, I'm looking to fight around October. So um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I have spoken to UFC already. I have sp spoken to Sean Shelby. Um, and there is certain things that are being put in place for my fight. I can't really talk about that just yet, but uh, you will see me in action uh, very soon. Two quick things. The whole thing that started you on this journey was a chat with Sean Shelby after Connor's debut in Stockholm. And I can remember talking to you after it happened and you said we need to get when we get or I think it was Graham at the time said when you get home we're going to do an interview where you're going to call out anybody offer to fight for free on short notice on however many notice and that was the journey for you. Now every day you're walking in and passing Sean Shelby's office. For you when we talk about surreal for Connor going from there to this in a short space of time for you that must be a surreal thing because you would have been hounding him on Twitter for years and now you could just go to his office if you wanted. Of course, yeah, absolutely. It's 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 been a great experience for me, and uh, I don't know. It's it's. I'm not gonna you know hide it. It, it is uh, uh, all thanks to Connor, you know, for this happening to me. You know, I, I probably wouldn't have had a chance to showcase my skill on a world stage, you know, if it wasn't for him. So um, yeah, it's it's been a great journey for me and everyone involved. You know, I, I feel that Connor's success has spilled out on all of us. You know and we have all achieved a lot um, as a result of, of his performance and, and the success that he was able to achieve in the UFC. Excellent, and then finally we're going to try and uh, get a little bit together and see what people's, if you were to put your money where your mouth was, for example, if you were to pick around, to pick a minute, to pick a way, well we won't say to pick a way, but um, if you were to put a prediction on the fight, a stalemate on the fight, is it going to be a whitewash on points, is it going to be a first round KO, is it going to be a one-sided over 12 rounds? What does Artem Lobov think? Uh, I, I think I'm going to stick with my original prediction and I will say that he'll stop him in the sixth round. And uh, the reason I say that is uh, I, I just, due to the fact that boxing rounds are only three minutes long, you know, and obviously Mayweather being an expert at boxing, I feel he'll find a way to survive for a while. You know, obviously the first few rounds he'll still be fresh. So, you know, he'll get through that, but then just Connor's pressure and everything will, will wear him out. And uh, I think he'll be in trouble by the fourth in a lot of trouble by the fourth but due to the fact that the round's only three minutes he'll be able to survive till the sixth and this is when uh, Connor will uh, will end his legacy will end his career will end his everything and uh, become the undisputed best boxer of all time yeah excellent Artem Lobov thank you very much McGregor versus Mayweather goes down in the T-Mobile arena in Las Vegas on August 26th I'm not too sure how many days away we are now, but... 15, uh, I think. 15, oh yeah, 15, it's two weeks tomorrow. Um, Connor's doing a media day later on, we're going to have full coverage from there. But Artem, uh, thank you very much, you've kicked us off our thank series you. of interviews here in Las Vegas. Thanks a million.